Hi everyone, it's Paula. Welcome back to Trapani's Tech Tips for Teachers, where my goal is to help make teachers' lives a little easier. Today's tip is a really good one. It applies to both teachers and students and is very useful when using Google Classroom. I'm going to show how to create a to-do list. So first step is to go into Google Classroom, open up the app, and get to the screen where you can see all of the class tiles of classes that you're a member of. And you're going to click the three lines in the upper left corner here. Some people refer to that as the hamburger. Click on that. And one of the first options is to do. And when you click on that, you'll see a list of everything uh, coming up for you to do in your classes. It, uh, the default shows all the classes you're a member of and it actually lists them uh, color coded. So these three that are blue all belong to the same class. Now, I happen to be both a teacher and a student, so I'm seeing some work that's listed as an assignment for me to complete as a student and some um, things that I have to grade because I'm a teacher. So the first category that I saw was uh, items that have no due date. You know, many times we create uh, something like that. If I had missing work, I believe that gray heading would have been first, then there's no due date, and then they're going to list after the no due date assignments, they're gonna list um, work in progress. And uh, it allows you, you know, to kind of dig a little deeper, but you might not need to get this started. You might wanna check the work or the to-do list for one given class. And that's just very simply by choosing the pull down arrow and selecting, you know, one of the classes that you teach. This view is going to show um, the items still outstanding for you to grade. Uh, if, you know, this was a class that you're a teacher of. And the good part about it is, um, you know, it's one, all assignments in one place, rather than going into the classwork tab and choosing a given assignment, you know, one by one, you get sort of that snapshot view, which is nice. From here, if you were finished with this assignment, even if there are still items outstanding that haven't been handed in yet, you know you're not gonna be reviewing anymore. You can click on the little three dots here and choose mark as reviewed. And then that will take this assignment and put it in the reviewed tab instead of items to be reviewed. Uh, in addition, you can also click on the numbers you know, for that given assignment that show, again, that snapshot view, how many are turned in, assigned, and graded. And if you click on it, then it brings you into the view that you're probably more familiar with that you get when you go into, um, you know, a given assignment in Classroom. So you'll see, you know, the work that's turned in by category and the students' names. If you wanted to give a comment, you know, you could do the same things that you were accustomed to doing. You click on the student and you could give a comment, you know, for work that's in progress maybe, or something that was re-handed back to you, things like that. Uh, so this to-do list is really, really useful. And I think students can really take advantage of it because it gives them that view right away, just a list of everything that's due uh, in all their classes. So, um, oops, let's get out of here. So if I were a student, I'm gonna see all the assignments that are coming up, again, you know, broken down by when they are due or past due. So I hope this was helpful. I hope that, um, you know, it's something that maybe you can take advantage of and certainly share with the students. Thanks so much for watching. If you found today's tip useful, like, comment, or share. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss a thing. If you have any questions, comments, or requests, you know where to find me.